What's going on everybody? It's Ricky with Video Homicide and today we're going to be taking a look at a film from 1981. It is directed by Enzo Castellari and it stars James Franciscus and Vic Morrow. So to give you a little bit of uh, history on those two guys, those two actors, James Franciscus was in uh, Cat of Nine Tails, which is a Dario Argento Giallo film. He was also in Beneath the Planet of the Apes as the, you know, the lead guy. And uh, a lot of people really like Beneath the Planet of the Apes, I, myself included. I think it's a really good one, good installment in that franchise. But uh, Vic Morrow, on the other hand, he's a famous actor from back in the day. But he, one of the things he's most known for is passing away on the set of the Twilight Zone film. Uh, him, along with two other female actresses, they were actresses. They were uh, killed via a helicopter crash. Like this helicopter, I believe, crashed into them you know, cut one of the little girl's heads, like, clean off, like, it's totally fucking gruesome and gross, but, uh, Vic Morrow is basically our Quint character, and James Franciscus is our, uh, Brody character, there's no Hooper character in this film, uh, which, you know, I believe definitely loses value, I would have loved to see a cheesy ripoff of Hooper with, like, his little one-liners and stuff, like, that's the thing about this movie, there's no, like, there's no real one-liners or any kind of like the comedic elements that Hooper brings into Jaws. Also, I feel like you spend way more time with Hooper, Brody, and Quint than you do with, you know, James Franciscus and Vic Morrow in this this ripoff film, Great White. I don't even know if I said the name of it, but it's Great White, also known as The Last Shark. So the movie starts off uh, not not that like the, like that's the thing I get like. There's so many fucking things online you can find, like this is a complete ripoff, you know, Universal sued, they had a halt to the, the, to the uh, American release of the film and all this stuff, and I'm thinking like, okay, it's a ripoff, but it's not that blatant, like there's, there's aspects of course, but it's not like uh, a movie, say like Shocking Dark, where it's a complete fucking ripoff of Alien and Terminator, like mix, like that is a fucking total ripoff, whereas this one... Sure, it's it's ripping off aspects and stuff, but I don't think it's like, you know, to the point where they needed to really have lawsuits and stuff like that. Because I think it's far enough removed. You know, it's it's cheesy. There is a sleazy fucking mare, and uh, you know, the, the thing about this mare. And to get into the story of the film, so the movie starts off kind of the same. Uh, well, not really at all, to be honest with you. There's this guy who's out windsurfing. He's on his little fucking surfboard thing, having a blast, and uh, the the shark attacks him and kills him. And uh, what what comes what you know like the reason they know he's been killed is a piece of this surfboard emerge uh, that comes out of the ocean onto the onto the onto the water, and th the Quint character has a really funny line. He's like, uh, you know, it wasn't a floating chainsaw, and and he has like this total like shitty Irish kind of accent happening. And ah uh, man, that's it, it's you know, and and the, another thing that takes away from Jaws, like there's no insane reveal of this Vic Morrow character. You know, it's not like in Jaws where, like, Quint is, like, sitting there and he, like, scratches his nails. There's this whole epic introduction to the character. With this one, it's more like, you know, there they are, you know. And our main guy, Brody, we'll call him, uh, he's, like, a writer. And uh, he gets involved in this situation and his daughter ends up getting attacked by the shark and all this kind of nonsense. But, you know, it's, it's funny to me because when I think of Jaws, Quint, or when I think of, like, Quint and you know, Hooper and Brody all on that boat. I, I think of, like, Quint as this guy that would, like, never get in the water or, like, you know, never wear a life jacket and any kind of shit like that. But in this movie, you got him, like, going into the water, swimming around in scuba gear. And I, I just was like, wow, this is not something that Quint would do, I don't think. Uh, I, I did enjoy, you know, some of the some of the very cheesy, cheesy effects of the shark in this film. Again, man, like, if you haven't seen this flick... And you, like, say you watch Jaws and then you watch this. It's night and day in terms of the special effects. It is impressive that they got some sort of, you know, shark in the water that, you know, looks like a shark. But it doesn't look like a fucking... It's not Jaws quality. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's more like along the lines of a paper mache shark. <laughs> you know, it looks, it looks like shit, but it's not horrible. It looks better than those fucking Sharknado films. Because those Sharknado films, it's not anything. It's just a fucking computer gen generated image and that's you know we, we all have our own opinions on that type of shit but uh, uh, uh like uh, not to give away this whole movie because i do think you should check it out if you're a fan of jaws and if you're a fan of italian films italian film ripoffs and stuff like that 
Uh, I will say this, at the end of the film, at the end of Jaws rather, you get like that classic line where Brody's like, uh, smile you son of a bitch! And he says all this little banter as he's shooting at the shark and he says like, blow up! Like all that kind of stuff, I love that. And in this movie, you just get our Brody guy go, damn you! And it's like, come on man, like, the, okay, I, I will say this, this is how they kill the shark in this fucking movie. Uh, you got Brody and Quint, and uh, they have like these plastic explosives and stuff, which are like tied to their bodies, which is fucking ridiculous. And, uh, you know, Qu Quint, the Quint guy kind of does get killed the same way as Quint in the film, i.e. he gets eaten by the shark, and it's ridiculous. It's almost like th there's a shot in this film where the shark has like Quint's body like hanging out of his mouth, almost like a fucking kid would have spaghetti noodles hanging out of their mouth and like the sharks going like that and it's just oh it's god awful man but uh like quint is wearing his plastic explosive vest or uh you know belt and that's when our chief brody guy uses the detonator and he goes damn you and, oh man and you see like this shitty explosion of a shark it's oh man it's it's pretty pretty bad to say the least but you know, again, it's, I feel like it's worth it just to see, just to have, like, the laugh factor at this movie, man. And there's, there's all those, like, Italian voice actors or, like, those guys that did the dubbing over these Italian films. Like, that one voice, the only way I can describe him is uh, the captain of the boat in Zombie. You know, the guy that gives the, you know, that writer and that girl a ride. That guy's voice is all throughout this movie. And when I hear that voice, I automatically think of like Italian cinema, like Cannibal Ferox, like this kind of shit. It's just, it's super dope to have a good time. You know, it's like an hour and just under an hour and a half. So there's, you know, there's no real time lost. And like I said, you will have fun at the ridiculousness of this movie. So yeah, with that being said, the, what is it called? The, the Last Shark? I really wanted to make the video last night, but I watched the movie in my bed and I was like, man, there's no fucking way I'm getting up and setting all this crap up. But uh, Great White, The Last Shark. Alright. Uh, I just want to give you a quick thing. So here's the lawsuit. Universal Pictures attempted to block the distribution by Film Ventures before its U.S. premiere on March 5, 1982. But the request was denied in a U.S. District Court. However, about a month into the release, federal judge uh, blah 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 ruled the film was too similar to Jaws and The Last Shark was subsequently pulled from theaters. So all these fucking movies that are exactly the same nowadays, they're not getting pulled from their fucking video on demand and all that horrid bullshit. Like, if you look at the state of fucking horror movies now, it's everything's a carbon copy of each other. Like, I've said it a million times, you got the same fucking format. You got the, the whore, the pothead, the hot guy, the hot chick, and the fucking virgin girl, and they all get thrown into a situation, and then the virgin girl is the one that lives. You know what I mean? Like, how many fucking times have you seen that in a film? Especially in the last like 15 years you watch any movie on Netflix. It's got that fucking formula any movie That's you know, oh man, that's the problem I have with modern-day horror man It's just there's good stuff happening out there, but there's it's being overshadowed overshadowed by so much shit You know like like a movie like the great white shark or the last shark whatever the fuck it was called it, it, it doesn't have a uh, ice cubes chance in hell standing up against jaws, but it doesn't deserve to be like fucking, you know, not not being able to be watched in theaters because it's too similar to Jaws. Like, what the fuck? I love Jaws as much as the next person. I think it's a great film, but I think if if you're gonna rip something off, and it's not like a well, how, how can I explain this? Like, okay, so they rip the the idea of Jaws off, but it's not like a shocking dark type rip off. Like, if you have not seen Shocking Dark. Go ahead and watch that film and you're gonna be like what the fuck they stole like ev like so many scenes are right out of alien right out of fucking terminator 2 or excuse me terminator like it's crazy it's crazy to me that this movie would be uh you know not being allowed to be shown in the theaters how many of those fucking ouija movies are out there and how many of these uh poltergeisty uh, Ouija board fucking Slenderman type movies you, you get all the time you never hear anything about that it's like you ripped off this movie it's like no well you know fuck you it, it makes no sense I don't know well, anyways thanks for watching everybody I know this was like a bit of a rant mixed in with the video here but 
Uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. Leave a 666 in the comments if you watched all the way through. Uh, if you have any suggestions for movies, and, and uh, you know, you kind of see the the types of movies that I'm into. You know, if you if you know of anything like that that you that you know I haven't watched or you know covered on the channel, leave it leave it in the comments, and I'll try to get to it. Especially if you can find it on YouTube, preferably because then I can just like quickly wham bam. I don't have to fucking buy anything or like do any kind of you know shady practices if that makes sense. I do have a bunch of movies still in my watch pile over there that I will get to. Like speaking of shitty shark stuff look at this shark exorcist two dollars like what the fuck is this man i remember when i when i seen this i think this was probably from this uh antique sort of consignment store that i used to go to it's closed down because of you know what but uh two dollars i think is even too much for this but i i, I wouldn't like ah satan has jaws that's that's that that's i'm, I'm done Thanks for watching. Adios.